Yesterday was a beautiful day in southwest Montana, and as I had a much needed day off, I decided to head up above Yankee Jim Canyon on the upper Yellowstone River and try my hand at some late summer wade fishing. I started the day's fishing with a pink chubby Chernobyl and a Psycho Prince dropper, and at first the whitefish were all over the nymph. I did catch several trout on both the nymph and the dry fly, and in fact I had completed a Yellowstone trout slam, a cutthroat, a brown, and a rainbow within the first hour of fishing. But as I had walked initially from my truck to the Yellowstone River, I had seen literally swarms of grasshoppers flying out of the dry grass. I had begun the day hoping to catch trout on dry flies, so I decided it was time for a slight change of tactics. Why it took me so long, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just a little slow. So I went ahead and tied on a size 12 gold-colored, more or less hopper, trailed by about a size 16 purple haze dry fly. And after that, it was game on. For the next three or four hours, until I was too tired to fish anymore, I had pretty much non-stop dry fly action. I caught a slim majority of the fish on the more or less hopper, but just for kicks I tried a number of different dry flies trailing the hopper pattern, including the purple haze, a small stimulator, a parachute caddis, but the clear winner was a lime never sink crude. The one low point of the day was my rod snapping on a hook set, but luckily I had a spare in the truck. I also hooked a garter snake, an event which unfortunately I did not get on video. There were no huge fish, but most of the trout I caught were beautiful 12 to 16 inch Yellowstone cutthroat, many of which were lying in just inches of water next to the bank. If you've been hesitant to fish the Yellowstone River this August because of slow fishing and worse, the past couple of Augusts, you are truly missing out. We've still got plenty of water in the Yellowstone this year, and the dry fly fishing is just now starting to really heat up. So grab your hopper box and head over to the Yellowstone. Whether you're wading or floating in a boat, upstream or downstream of Livingston, you're more than likely to have a great time on the walk. So don't miss out on some classic Montana freestone dry fly fishing this year. For Sweetwater Fly Shop, this is Dan Jagan. I'll see you on the water.